So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Tries lifting it over. There's no flag. Lovely bit of skill. Going for goal! Gets it back. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Look forward. What does he try from here? Decent ball. Belts it on the volley. He was well picked out. Just needed a better finish. Well, if only the calibre of the finish was as high as the, the calibre of the supply. I mean, that was a beautifully played cross and it really should have seen something better on the end of it. Is the route one option? Aimed long and direct. Looks to slip it through. Has he found his man? Good challenge, he just stood firm. Heading towards half-time, and it is still scoreless. Played out to the wing. Battles to win it back. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? And he's made certain that won't get through. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. And a grossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Ghana can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Tries a through ball. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. So we've reached the hour mark. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet.
seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Out wide to the right. Goes long and forward. Uh, needed a better pass there. Good run down the left, what can they make of it? Fired in from distance. That's well blocked and back out it comes. Now the pass. Steered out wide but he won't reach that one. Who's going to make this theirs? Gets it back. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. So we brace ourselves for the nerve-shredding ordeal that is penalties. Real tension here, then, as the first man readies himself. So, the first penalty. I think oh, the tension saved. must have got to because much that went straight, straight, straight into the keeper's arms. Oh, and the keeper knew the he was beaten, so what a bonus. So, the second man in line. Back oh, off we're the talking post. inches. Such are the, uh, the fine margins. So, the second man in line. Oh, he saved it! Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. The third man in the queue. It's in, too smart for the keeper. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. The third man in the queue. Oh, he cannot score! Ghana looking to extend their advantage. And he's put them two in front. Lest you need reminding, miss this and it is over. It's in, he's kept them in it. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. So can he be the hero? That's won it! Ghana were taken the full distance and then some, but they got there.